hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so first i want to thank you all for watching and supporting everything i'm doing so in today's video we are going to set up our windows enterprise 10 virtual machine which is going to be the vm1 and then vm2 and before we dive in always make sure that your windows server 2019 is up and running you know and one point is this project has a great way to learn and i has going as i go through the steps i realize how much i'm learning myself and now the next step is going to be to create a local user for each machine you know so this you machine need different users to be able to log in into our active directory okay so now let's go ahead and start you know the this installation and then let's start learning together let's get it okay now that we are here in our virtual box what you want to do we want to come to windows 10 enterprise vm1 and we want to go to start okay so now it should be starting the installation okay now that we are here you want to choose your language and then mine is going to be english time and currency united states keyboard import united states i want to click on next and then here you want to click on install now okay here you want to do what you want to do is you want to accept the license term so click on accept and then click on next and then when you come to which type of installation do you want to go to custom answer windows on the advanced okay and then now we already have our disk right here that one is selected you you want to click on next okay now that we are here let's start with the region you want to choose your region mine is going to be united states and i'm click yes and just give it a second all right so the keyboard I'm going to leave it as US and then click yes. And here I'm going to just skip. If you want, you can choose, you can add a, you know, layout, whatever, however you want to, but I'm going to skip for now. Okay. Now that we are here, what we want to do, we don't have to sign in. We want to go to domain join insert. Okay. So you click that one and then we want to create a random username. We're not going to use them, but it's good to create a random username. Okay. So let me create a random username is gonna be share next and then let's just create a password and click on next and then let's confirm our password click on next and then now we have to answer three security question okay now that i did answer all the three security question so this is where we are right now so you're just gonna wait a little bit and give it a time all right now here you want to make sure to turn off all this so we want to go now now and now okay make sure everything is now and then now you want to click on accept and here we can choose not now okay so now that we are here it's time to remove our iso file and then add the add, um, guest addition okay to remove the iso file you go to device go to optical drive and then as you can hear as you can see here remove this from with drive that's what you're gonna click and then now it's done okay now it's time to insert our additional guest so you want to go to device and then you want to go to click on insert guest addition and come to file here let's wait a little bit double click on file let me just close one of them okay as you are here in file you want to click on this pc and let's see okay this one right here you want to click on virtualbox addition and as you can see what we need is our virtualbox window addition you double click on it and then now what you want to do you want to click on yes and then now what you want to do you want to you want to click on next and then next and then install and here we want to click on reboot now and then click on finish okay now what we want to do we want to go ahead and add our vm to our eight domain and to do that it's pretty simple you want to come here to the search bar here and type this pc okay so as the, this pc come out you want to go to property and okay as property is here you want to go to advanced system setting click on that and now you want to come to here computer name and here instead of giving a computer description name you want to go to change and then here let's give it the name as vm1 okay and then here at the domain member of domain you want to click on domain and it's going to be that lab okay and you want to click on okay and as this windows come out right here computer name you want to log in with your administrative the the ad domain administration login okay mine is going to be mara cyber and the password and you're going to click on okay and as this windows come out here welcome to the ad lab domain you click okay and it's going to restart okay you must restart your computer apply this change and you click okay now you can close this and now you want to click on restart now okay now that is back let's go ahead and log in into our we're going to use the two users that we created back in part two 
I think it's part two or part three. There is two users that we created. That's what we're going to use. So you want to click on other user and then I'm going to choose one of them. My one was Sherry Cyber. And then here you want to put the password. Okay. Let's see. Yep. Now it works. Remember the two users that you created on part two or part three. I don't remember which part was it. There was two users that you created. So you're going to choose one of those, one of those users that's what gonna, that's what you're going to choose to log back in okay okay now as you can see we already logged in so let's close here okay now what we want to do we want to confirm that we are logged in as our domain user okay to do that you want to come here into this window and then you right click and then open the powershell and when the powershell is open we want to run the command who we are who are who am i okay so let's see let's give it time okay the powershell is here and let's just give it a second the powershell to come up okay we want to log in as who we are so to check double check you want to run this command who am i and as you can see we are logged in as sheriff cyber okay so now we're good with that let's close here and then now it's time to set up our vm windows enterprise 10 vm2 we are going to repeat the same process the same step that we did for vm1 we're going to repeat the same thing okay now let's go ahead into the second windows 10 enterprise which is going to be our vm2 okay now let's go ahead and repeat the, everything we did for vm1 so you go to vm2 and then you want to click on start okay now here we want to leave it as default united states or you can choose wherever you are and then i'm going to click on next and then I'm going to click on install now. And then here I'm going to accept the license term. And I want to click on next. And here I want to come. You remember we come to custom install windows only advanced. And then this one is selected. You want to click on next. And let the configuration start. Okay here you want to choose you know the region that you are. I'm going to leave mine as the United States. Click on yes. Now here we're going to use i'm going to use the us keyboard and then click on yes and then here i'm going to skip for now you can choose any keyboard layout that you want but i'm going to skip for here as what i did on the first vm1 configuration okay. now here what you want to do is you remember we want to go to domain join insert okay you click on that one and then here we want to choose the name that we're going to use if we want to log in local ad domain member okay so now i'm just gonna choose here let's see let's just wallet, wallet and then click on next and password click on next and confirm the password next and then now we want to choose three security questions that we're gonna answer okay now that we are here you wanna put now no okay we, we can leave this one yes and then we want to click on accept and here we want to click on not now okay now that we are here is back up running Let's go ahead and remove our ISO file. So you want to come to device, come to optical drive, and then go down, remove disk from virtual drive. Okay. You click on that one. Now it's, it's done. So our next step is let's go ahead and add our insert the guest addition. Okay. So you want to go to device and then you want to go to click on insert guest addition and come to file here. Let's wait a little bit, double click on file. Let me just close one of them. Okay, as you are here in file, you wanna click on this PC and let's see. Okay, this one right here, you wanna click on VirtualBox Edition. And as you can see, what we need is our VirtualBox window addition. You double click on it. And then now what you wanna do, you wanna click on yes. And then now what you wanna do, you wanna, you wanna click on next and then next and then install. And here we wanna click on reboot now and then click on finish now let's go ahead and log in as wallet and we click the password okay now that we are back here let's go ahead and remove our um the disk so you go to device go to optical drive and then come to remove disk from remove disk okay so now that is done and now let's go ahead and then add our vm2 into our active directory and we're going to do the same process that we did earlier you come here and type this PC. there you go this one right here and as it come you want to go to property here and click on properties and let's expand this windows right here okay now the window we already expand the window you want to go to advanced system setting and now you want to come to computer name and you want to go to change and here we're gonna name it as win 10 vm2 vm and here the domain is gonna be 
lab okay and you want to click on okay and here we want to connect with our active directory logging so it's going to be for me it's going to be my cyber and you click your password click enter and you're gonna you want to click on okay and then you want to click okay and now we can close here and it's going to restart you want to click on restart now okay now what we want to do here we want to log here log back in with our second user that we created in our part three or part two okay so you come to user and then it's gonna be mara cyber and password click enter so mine here is a little bit confusing because i did use mara cyber twice i use it as my active directory and then use it as my second user on my on my ad lab it may be different for you okay I don't want it to be confusing so that's why mine is i have mara twice okay okay now it's time to check exactly who we log in as okay now we can close here and then come here at this start button and right click and then open our powershell let's see just give it a second all right now we want to run this command who am i and as you can see we are logging as mara cyber okay all right now the last setting that we are going to do is to make sure that our vms which is the vm1 and vm2 are connected to our domain environment okay now to do that let's go to our windows 2019 server windows 2019 server and let's go ahead and log in now to do that we come here we are in our windows 2019 server we want to go to this uh we want to go to the start menu click here and then we want to expand the windows administration tool windows administrative tool and now we want to come down to dhcp and we want to expand the dc1 and now we want to expand the ipv4 let's expand this windows make it big here now we want to expand our scope and then now we want to click on address leases as you can see here we have our two vm vm1 and vm2 connected and this is their client ip addresses right here so we are we have fully access to the network you know so we have these two vm connected to our active directory domain environment now we can close here okay guys now we are done with this part of the home lab project now we, we are ready to exploit two machines that we created okay all right so this gonna do it for this part of the home lab project and if you like this video please share and like and comment if you have any question don't hesitate to reach out and i can see i can wait to see you guys into my next video thank you guys